Hello, uh, this is Davey Dave. I'm bringing you an episode of How to Jailbreak the iPod Touch 4th Generation running the iOS 6.1.5. Um, right here's my... I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. But there's the version right there. 6.1.5. Okay. So I'm just going to go through the steps on how to do this. First of all, you're going to have to download what's called the firmware for the iPod. Um, I'm going to give you a link on the description so you guys can go on it or you can just google it it's pretty much everywhere on the internet these days and you're gonna need Red Snow the latest version and I've got my files on my computer right here i show you guys what they should look like okay guys so we're here on my laptop and these are the two files that sh you should have this is your uh, IPSW file and this is your Red Snow file the program that's gonna do the jailbreak for you so what you need to do now is you're gonna open Red Snow up so to do this you're gonna unzip the f this Red, Red Snow folder into your computer just like that Okay, so uh, you can get rid of this now if you want to. And you're going to open up Red Snow that EXE. Okay, so once it's up, you're going to have <clears throat> this this window right here, Red Snow 0.9.15b3. And uh, you're going to hit extras. And then you're going to hit select IPSW you hit that and then you go to where you saved your other file at the the, the one we downloaded so you open that up and then you're gonna get this successfully identified pop-up so you just click OK and you go back and you're pretty much ready to jailbreak. You just click the jailbreak button there. And I'm gonna be plugging in my iPod right now into my laptop. Okay guys, so it's gonna ask you to enter the DFU mode so as you can see here, my iPod is already plugged in. So what you have to do um, right now is hold your power button and power power it off. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to click next. But you have to be ready because it's going to ask you to hold um, buttons so it's gonna ask you to hold the power button for like five five seconds and then hold the power button and the home button for like 10 seconds and then you have to let go of the power button without releasing the home button for another like five seconds or so but once you click next it tells you how many seconds you have to do it for so it makes it easier for you so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Click next. And as you can see I'm doing that. And then it's gonna guide you through the process here. 
um, it's so uploading the first stage, I guess. <laughs> and your iPod should look all black like that. For now. It's actually gonna pop up with a bunch of weird stuff after this. Oh, sorry guys, I was uh, playing some Battlefield 4 while I was doing this, but um, yeah, your iPhone's gonna start going all crazy with a bunch of stuff, um, like small ass letters. And uh, it might look scary, but don't worry about it. That's just how, it, how it's jailbreaking your device and putting all these files in it and just doing it for you. And then, <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, once you get the done thing on your Retina, your, everything takes process on your iPod, so you're done there. Um, And uh, we just gotta wait <laughs> until that's done. Okay, so once you've uh, went through that whole process, uh, your iPod's gonna boot up again, and as you can see here, you're not gonna see the CD icon. It's just uh, how you left it. So what you're gonna have to do next is go back onto Red Snow, and then you gotta go to Extras and select IPSW and choose the same one that we used earlier and click OK. And then what you wanna do is click just but this time. This first button right here um so it's gonna ask you to do the dfu mode again so i'm gonna turn off my device here okay it's and once it's off you're gonna click next and do the instructions Alright, and um, it's gonna go through that again. <laughs> and you just gotta wait. I'll show you my iPod actually. What's it doing? And this is what your iPod should look like. Oh, you can uh, quit Red Snow after it says done. Once it says done, you can quit. Okay, and let's check it out. Alright guys, so once the pineapple logo goes away, you're going to go back to your iPod and you're going to see, yay, your Cydia icon is going to be there. Now, I'm going to go into it. Oh, it's, it's asking me, who are you? Are you a hacker? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go with user and um, there you go there's Cydia for you so you can see it's working yep there you go and uh, that's pretty much it guys um, I actually think that this one actually took a little bit more that one it usually takes because I used to have uh, an iPod like a year ago with the with the other update it was like five point something and actually I thought it was faster I, th I thought it took a pretty long time this time but uh, well the point is is that we got it done right and uh, I, w I really hope it worked for you guys and um, thank you for watching have a good day